Today, students around the country are celebrating National Speech and Debate Day, which gives students the ability to empower themselves through competitive speech and debate. National Speech and Debate Education Day was started by the National Speech and Debate Association a few years ago to recognize students who compete in interscholastic speech and debate activities and to encourage other teachers and administrators to support speech and debate education in their classrooms and in their schools. This is very important to what we do. Obviously, we're, we live in a time where deliberation is really important and where not everyone is trained to argue well uh, when they're uh, coming up through our educational system and so spreading the word about speech and debate is important. We uh, strive to develop a society where people are able to talk about difficult issues in a way that helps us resolve conflicts uh, instead of creating more and there are lots of students who spend a significant amount of their time participating in speech and debate week in and, and week out. And so this is a great way to recognize their efforts. Mm -hmm. Students in Mrs. Maleta Kunkel's third period oral interpretation class practice oral interpretation through cuttings from short stories, books, and speeches. And I've gone to many uh, debates and have won awards there for their memorization and skills in oral interpretation. These are some of the members of our oral interpretation team here at Capel. We travel with the debate team on numerous weekends, and we have a lot of good, uh, a lot of good fun. Where man and dog once had been, <laughs> there was not but a big hole in the ground. I thought I had found God. I'm Darren Alexander Denon. <laughs> Yes, my initials spell dad. And he knew eventually they'd search for that bite and find it. Black, rancid, and swollen. I remember when he was just three. Young men die for kings. I, um, <laughs> but that's all <coughs> I ever really wanted was for her to take my hand and hold it. Daddy left on his bike and he didn't come back. And Daddy died three days ago, which means from now on, it's just me and Mom. I will never have peace. My name is Carly Connors, 13 letters. How unlucky can one person be? Once I asked Mama, why did you name us Sissy and Boy? It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. If I didn't have to be so strong for Matt, I'd cry too. 